Throughout his lengthy and illustrious career, Jim Keltner, a session drummer, has collaborated with numerous well-known artists, including George Harrison and John Lennon. Keltner said in a recent interview with the British magazine Uncut that while Harrison and Lennon had both made hurtful remarks about Paul McCartney, they would not tolerate anybody disparaging their former Beatles bandmate. According to Keltner, George and John could both be really brutal with Paul over the years. I quickly discovered that I was unable to accompany them. At various times they both said, we can say that, but you shouldn't. Regarding the relationship between the Fab Four, he continued, they were truly brothers who loved taking the PS out of each other, but they didn't want anybody else doing it. Harrison recorded seven studio albums with Keltner and Ringo Starr and John Lennon each recorded four. Additionally, he played drums on both of the Traveling Wilburys albums, a supergroup that included Jeff Lynne of ELO, Harrison, Bob Dylan, Tom Petty, and Roy Orbison. Keltner recalled his initial encounter with Harrison in the uncut piece. It happened at John Lennon's Ascot Sound Studios during the recording sessions for his 1971 album Imagine. George was approaching the hallway. When I came out of the restroom, I saw him, and we just said hi, Keltner remembered. He expressed his admiration for the Delaney and Bonnie album, Except No Substitute, which I had performed. Although it wasn't a huge hit or a commercial success, all the English guys thought it was awesome. It was significant for me to hear George say that. Following their first encounter, Keltner and Harrison started recording on a regular basis. In an interview with Uncut, he discussed the personality of the former Beatles guitarist and his working relationship with him. As Keltner put it, he was the most unusual person. George's ability to come up with ideas and carry them out with ease was always a little mysterious to me. This year marks the 50th anniversary of Living in the Material World, the first Harrison studio album on which Keltner appeared. Give Me Love, Give Me Peace on Earth, the album's number one single, peaked at number 200 on the Billboard 200 chart. Uncut was informed by Keltner that he had a terrific time working with Harrison on the record. He said, I still remember the feel, the way we were set up every aspect of it. We would have been in Harrison's Friar Park home studio and Apple Studios recording. He had all the best analog equipment available, neatly arranged. For the time, it was state of the art.